morning folks welcome to the van yeah i um been thinking about something quite uh, quite, quite a while now oh, quite a few hours now because i've been up quite a while and um it's what's your price where do you uh what's your sellout point and uh yeah we we, we don't like to think that we we will sell out but i've worked with people in the past that turned on me in a dime you know um you build relationships over a long period of time and trust and when the push comes to shove they just do a 180 on you and they stick with the corporate and you know, they're worried about their salaries so that does happen i mean you look at the south african springbok team uh, they sold out they had to wear that uh, toothpaste colored uh, outfit to play rugby in the other day looked like a bunch of pansies but yeah uh, <laughs> at least they played well <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what's your say? Where's your, have you got a sellout point? Do you do you sell out? I mean, governments sell out all the time. Politicians, um, the biggest sellout I remember was Courtbrook. Remember Courtbrook? I mean, that it took the whole national party, moved them all across to a different party completely, sold the whole party out, took him for the biggest ride out. I mean, that, that's the the biggest uh, show of of selfishness. <laughs> I've ever seen in a politician, even worse than today's politicians, which are flipping bad. So, yeah, um, everybody seems to have a sellout point or a price. And that's quite concerning. Money rules everything. doesn't matter what you want to do or which way you want to go. They throw enough money at you, they can change your mind. And that does happen. It happens every day. So, yeah, would your mind be changed? Or is your purpose greater than your price? Uh, that's something I, I've been thinking about. If you, have you found your purpose? What is your purpose? And if you found your purpose, are you going to stick to it? Or are you going to be sold out? Are you going to set a price on that? So if you look at, I mean, I looked at, um, who was that sportsman? Oh, it wasn't a sportsman. It was uh, Ice Cube. And uh, Ice Cube was, was saying that he turned down a $13 million contract for a movie deal. And, uh, yeah, because he didn't want to take the vaccine. And that's his his purpose. And his focus was that this, and he's not taking this thing full stop, no matter what they throw at him. And uh, that, that's showing your guts. That's showing, uh, that's showing resolve. Eh? Um, I don't know if I could do that. Can you? So, anyway, that's my, my point for today. Is your purpose stronger than your price? Have a good day, folks.